fine actors out there actually try to influence us, try to create as much chaos as possible so that we don't participate in elections or that we withdraw from public debates, uh, we don't uh, exercise the rights that we have as citizens. Democracy only works if you have free societies, free press, free ju judiciary and the rule of law. Disinformation, foreign influence uh, operations are not just people making stuff up on the in internet, they actually have highly serious real world consequences. What goes online doesn't stay online, it actually translates into people taking actions in the, in the real world that can be highly damaging to democracy. One of the very small tricks that I use a lot also is to uh, pay attention to the domain names. We've seen these information campaigns that are trying to impersonate real institutions, that are trying to impersonate Western media. So make sure you actually visit the right websites. Why do we risk or like? I say don't do it. Um, because we achieve very little benefit from sharing something to our network. And if you do, at least look at the source. Is that person even a real person that you can be sure of? Do they have a real picture? Do they have any affiliation in their profile? Outrage is one of the ways that it's easiest to manipulate people. Um, disinformation is about making you anger about things that you already think are true about the world. And then secondly, slow down. Simply just slowing down the information that you're consuming and sharing is really important. And then lastly, view your information diet like a diet. Um, if you start consuming garbage, it will have implications for your life.